This is Super Skill Pinball, a roll and write pinball game designed by Jeff Engelstein and published by WizKids Games. I'm Daniel, I was the art director and graphic designer for this game, and I'm going to teach you the game in about 60 seconds, and then I'll run through the first two rounds of play. You can play along with me using the print and play PDF that is available at the link in the description below. We'll be playing on the beginner table, Carnival, but the base game includes three more tables with more advanced mechanics, but let's get started. At the beginning of the game, your pinball token starts in the top right corner of the board. And to begin the game, you're going to mark the first space here in the round track, just filling in so that you know you are in round one. Step one is to just roll. And in this case, on this virtual dice roller that a fan has created, the roll is four and five. Uh, that means the next step is to move. So my pinball can move to any of these features over here in this zone. Uh, that have dice results matching what I've rolled. So in this case, I could land my pinball token over here on this Ferris wheel car, or I could land it over here on this Ferris wheel of five space. So let's say I land here. The next step is to fill. Those are the three steps of gameplay. Rolling, moving, and filling every single time. Um, now there are rules about how you move. So let's keep on going here on my next roll. So my next roll is two and six. So I always have to fall down a zone. I don't have to fall down to the next zone necessarily. I could go down here or here uh, or down here if I wish. But uh, in this case, I wanna keep, uh, keep the ball moving a little bit. So I'm going to land my pinball over here in the bumper zone. And bumpers are fun because uh, they kind of uh, break that rule a little bit. So I'm filling in that two, uh, two space there. Uh, and in the bumper zone, every space that I fill in is going to score me a point. That's what this little note uh, down here means. Uh, so I am marking that in my score track over here. Cool, I got a point. My next roll is a three or a six. Uh, so you have to move and you have to move clockwise. That's what these purple arrows indicate. Uh, there are special modes that would allow you to move counterclockwise, but uh, for the time being, let's keep on moving here and stay in the bumper zone and keep scoring some points, why don't we? So I fill in that space and I score another point. My next roll, I'm hoping for a five or a six so I can stay in the bumper zone. Oh, unfortunately, my luck has run out. Um, now, like I said, I can't use that uh, three result and stay here and just fill in that three space. I have to move down. Um, and I can't use the one because that, that would mean going backwards. I mean, going counterclockwise. Uh, that brings us down here to the drop targets zone. Um, let's see, I can hit one of the yellow spaces, either the one over here or the three over here, uh, or I can hit the drop targets over here and get a one uh, that will be over here or a three over there. Uh, let's say I want to fill in that space and score a point in doing so. Next roll means I have to go down to the flipper zone and my two options are two and five. So, Let's move down here um, and say I want to fill in this in lane over here. Um, I can fill that in over here and that will give me two points. Or I can go to this in lane and, get, and fill that in and that would go uh, give me two points as well. Uh, the difference between these two spaces, these, these two in lanes, uh, is that one leads directly to the red flipper and the other leads directly to the yellow flipper. And that's going to be important because some areas of the table are only accessible by the yellow or the red flipper. Uh, in this case, I really want to access the uh, feat of strength minigame that's over here in this area and that red arrow you see leading into it indicates that only the red flipper can give you access there. So my choice for this turn is to fill in the two space here and the little reminder image there tells you that it gives you two points. So I'm going to fill that in. Cool beans. Let's keep on going. Let's see if I can access the feat of strength the feat of strength minigame rule is that you have to fill in every chevron one at a time in consecutive order. So you can't just skip and fill in the tw uh, the six space and get 20 points for that. You have to fill in the one, then the two, then the three, and so on. Um, and unfortunately, the dice roll that I have does not allow me to go there. Um, and uh, that means I can go elsewhere, any, any place that is coded uh, red. So in this case, I can go to the bumpers and fill in that uh, that six space, or I can go to the drop targets over here on the right side and fill in that last drop target section. So I think I'm going to go back to the bumper zone and start getting some points again. Maybe I'll get better luck. 
fill in that space, get a point, and now the next turn, two and six. This allows me to stay in the bumper zone, thankfully, so I am going to move and fill in that two space. Cool. Next roll, hopefully I can stay in the bumper zone, and oh hey, good luck. I've got a little bit of good luck here, so I am going to fill in that last three space and get a point for that as well. Next roll is two and three. Unfortunately, I cannot stay in the bumper area, so I will be moving down again. And let's see if I can get some better luck here. Um, so I can hit a two or a three. Uh, let's see, I can hit the middle yellow drop target. Uh, I can hit one of these two red drop targets. I could even go down to the flipper area if I really wanted to push my luck and uh, very aggressively start aiming for stuff that's higher up, like for example, the Ferris wheel cars. Uh, let's, you know what, let's make some suboptimal moves just to show you how things work. Um, I'm gonna go all the way down to the flipper zone just to show you that you can skip that, uh, skip the zone. And I'm going to fill in the yellow space here cool all right so i'm using that one and i'm gonna move the pinball token all the way up here to the top and then land at that ferris wheel car fill in that space the reason i'm doing this is that if i can fill in all of all three of the ferris wheel cars i will unlock a skill shot which means i can circle one of these numbers on the left hand side uh, and then i can use one of those results instead of a dice roll uh, so that'll that'll save me, uh, I think, from some danger coming up. First, let me remove this stray mark that I happened to leave there by accident. Uh, all right, so next roll is turn 11, and that's a uh, 2 and a 5. Uh, oh, yeah. Okay, let's do this. Let's go here and fill in that 5 and get a point for that. Next roll is a four and a four. Unfortunately, I cannot skip a bumper. Uh, so that brings me down to the drop target section again, where I will be able to fill in this yellow drop target. I'm gonna fill that in, get a point for that. Cool beans. Uh, let's go. Uh, and um, before we get, uh, get any further, I'm gonna double check my score, make sure I'm tracking everything correctly. Uh, I should have six points from the bumpers, I should have two points from the drop targets, um, and then I have two points from the inlane. I may have missed a couple points here, so that's just uh, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, I missed one point. All right, let's go. Uh, the next roll is four and five. Let's try that feat of strength again. I am going back here. I'm going to fill in the four, five section here yep uh, and let's hope I can get a one or something close to it to the feet of strength oh goodness it really does not want me to go to the feet of strength here hmm okay well let's see how can I make this work well let's go back to the bumper area and uh, try to get back in there and maybe score some points buy some time it'll be good fun times so I'm going to fill in this last five space, and for that I will get a point. Next roll, four and six. Well, a uh, similar situation as last time. I cannot skip a bumper, so that lands me back here. Oh, but good news. I am going to finish off this last yellow drop target. I will get a point for that. And you know what I'm going to do? You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to activate the multi-ball. So I will mark off the multi-ball space um, and then uh, I will clear off the yellow drop target marks. Every time you finish a set, um, so for example this drop target set, uh, then you can clear it off so you can keep on filling it later on. Uh, you can tell that something is, a, something is part of a set when it has just a single line around the box. Double lines mean that uh, it'll never be erased and uh, dashed lines mean that it will be erased after the round is over. So let's continue with the multi-ball. The multi-ball means that you're gonna have a second ball that starts at the very top, just like, just like you did at the beginning of the round. 
Um, but the twist is that from now on, as long as you have two balls active, you have to use both of your dice results and assign one dice result to each ball. So let's see how that works. So I got a three and a six. Uh, let's say, uh, let's start from the top here. I'm gonna assign the three to this ball and I will use that to fill in this skill shot area there. So that triggers the uh, skill shot unlock. I'm gonna clear off that and now I can circle one of these numbers that uh, that I want to fill in later. Uh, you know what? I think I'm just to just to hedge my bets. I'm gonna circle the one, so that if I can make it back down to the red flipper, I will be guaranteed to be able to at least start off the feat of strength. The other pinball is going to be assigned the six, which means that it will either go here, which would send it out of the out of the round. I do not want that. Um, so my choice is really to go here to the red flipper and fill in that six space. So let's do that. Filling in that six. Cool. <clears throat> now, uh, the other important thing about uh, multi-ball mode is that any points you earn while you have two balls in, uh, in play are doubled. Uh, so filling in a drop target or filling in a, a bumper or even the points that you get from the feat of strength, all of those will be doubled. Uh, so I'm going to try to really uh, at least uh, start uh, pinging the uh, the bumpers again. So next roll. Oh, goodness. Okay, let's see. Uh, hmm. All right, <laughs> let's see how this works. Uh, first off, uh, well, these are both going to hit a six. So it's a matter of which six they hit. Uh, I will definitely fill in this space with the six. And that is normally one point, but because I'm in multi-ball mode, I get two points. This ball, meanwhile, will be uh, assigned the six, and oh boy, uh, unfortunately, uh, it cannot go into the feet of strength. Uh, my option is more or less to just go to this drop target right here, but fill that in, and for that, I will get two more points. Burp and burp. Next roll, please be more forgiving. <laughs> Three and four, okay. Uh, if I were to assign the three to this pinball, it would land on the red flipper, which would give me one more chance to get to the feet of strength, and I can use that skill shot to f finally get in there. Let's go ahead and do that. Uh, let's fill that in. All right, so going there, ba -ba -ba, fill that in right on, uh, and then this will be assigned the four, which can go here. All right, so next roll. Hope I roll a natural one. Whew. Okay, every time I am on the red flipper, it just wants to go high. All right, so I am going to ignore one of those results and use my skill shot for it. Uh, so I'm going to assign the skill shot number one to this pinball and fill in this space of the feat of strength. And it's not worth any points, but it unlocks uh, higher levels where uh, you'll get increasingly better rewards. Uh, and I have to remove that uh, in the skill shot area to note that I have used it. Uh, and then the other result, the, hmm, so I can, so technically I could use either the five or the six. I will assign it to the five. Oh, right, yeah, obviously I'm gonna assign it to the five because I don't wanna lose that uh, that pinball. Uh, so I'm assigning it to the five. Because I don't know why I was debating that. <laughs> Um, that would normally give me two points, but because I'm in multi-ball mode, it will give me four. Next roll. Please be good. Two and six. Okay, great. Uh, two and six means I have the option of going here or here. Uh, mm, yeah, I'm going to go here. Yeah, sure. Uh, filling in space there. Cool. Right on. Uh, then the six will be assigned to, I think, this drop target. Let's see how that goes. For that, I get two points. And my next roll is one and four. Oh, that's that's actually good. Okay, that's that'll save me some time. Uh, one will be assigned here, and I'm going to hit that space and get two points for that. And then I will assign the four to this pinball, which will send it back to the yellow flipper, and then roll again. 
three and four. Let's see. I can send this pinball up here and fill in that Ferris wheel with the three and then send this pinball over to this bumper and fill in that four. And for that, I will get two more points. Burp, burp. And the next roll, five and six. Let's see here. Oh dear. Um, hmm. Yeah. You know what? I'm going to nudge. Now, uh, this is a uh, kind of a special mechanic. Um, so just like a real pinball table, uh, we allow you to nudge the table a little bit to try to, try to shimmy that ball wherever you need it to go. Um, in this case, uh, the way we represent that is with a number that you would write here in the nudge area of your, uh, of your uh, sheet. Uh, you would write the difference between your result and the result that you want. Uh, so in this case, I'm going to change the 5 into a 4, which would make a nudge of 1. So I'm using that nudge on this pinball and filling in that space. I think all that's really doing is just saving me from some amount of doom. Uh, yeah, so this one is still going to fall down. Um, pinball is going to fall all the way down because it, it has to use a six and the only six available is over here in the out lane. Um, and I will fill in that six space. Boom. And I will get uh, two points for every uh, filled yellow flipper box. Uh, so that would be one, two, three. Um, and that would normally be six points, but because I have multi-ball activated, I will get 12 points. So all right, so when multi-ball ends, uh, you just remove that pinball, set it off to the side, and you don't use it again until you activate multi-ball again. So now I'm back to just having one ball active, uh, which means that I no longer get double points. So moving on. So my next roll is three and three, and unfortunately th this is a problem. When you nudge, the next turn you have to worry about tilting. If the difference between the two dice that you roll is uh, lesser than the nudge amount, then you have tilted and your round immediately ends. Uh, and unfortunately, I've had the very unlikely occurrence of rolling doubles right after nudging by one, which means that the difference is zero which is less than one, uh, which also means that I have tilted and my round is over. I am going to fill in round two. I am doing a little bit of uh, bookkeeping here. Everything that has a dashed line gets erased at the end of the round. The ball begins at the very top of the screen and you have to use the dice result that uh, you have. Uh, so you can't just skip it and you have to use it. So in this case, uh, oh, first off, a little extra bit of bookkeeping. I'm turning off the nudge number because you only have to worry about that on the very next turn. Every turn thereafter, don't got to worry about it. Uh, so I am going to use the three to go over here to this drop target, filling in that space, and as a result, getting one point. My next roll is a four and a six. Oh boy. Uh, let's see. Well, at least I have a clear board here so let's say i go for the six and fill in that space my next roll is a four or a six again goodness okay uh from the red target oh hmm i really don't want to have to fall back down to the flipper section but it seems that i might have to I... do i want to nudge again just to hit this this red drop target i think so yeah, yeah, I think so. Okay, all right. Playing risky here. Filling in this three, uh, turning that uh, four into a three, and that means I have a nudge of one. So let's move on. One and three. Okay, okay. Let's see. Uh, I'm going to send that to the yellow drop target so I can at least open up some space base on the upper section, hopefully, and maybe unlock a skill shot. Uh, let's fill in that one. Next roll is a one or a three. Cool. 
I'm sending this all the way up to the top and skipping the Ferris wheel since I don't have access to any of those with these dice result anyway. Uh, and using that one for this and filling in that last bumper space, getting a point for that. And because that completes that set, I can now clear it off and it's now available to hit again. Let's see, two or a four. Oh, thankfully I can. So I'm moving this pinball to the next bumper, going clockwise again, as I am allowed to do that and getting a point for that. Next roll, four or a six. So I will stay in the bumper zone. Thank you very much. Uh, I feel like this is the path that led me to destruction last time, just sticking in the bumper zone, but hey, points are points, right? Let's see. So three and four means that I can get to, oh boy, uh, not a lot of options here, unfortunately, for your pal. Uh, I could nudge again and complete that uh, red drop target set. Now I'm just gonna use the, the natural result. Fall down to the red flipper. Boom. Alrighty. And then let's hope I can get to the, uh, get a two. I want a two. Boy, I'm just not getting into that feat of strength area. Okay, so a one or a six. A six would be great if I had a yellow flipper. Unfortunately, I don't. Um, I'm gonna go to, oh, you know what? Yes, now I will finish off that red drop target set and fill in that last one, get a point for that. And now I have access to one of these bonuses. Uh, let's see, the bumper bonus will give me two points and allow me to go counterclockwise. Which, which, you know, just to show you something else, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do bumper mode, the bumper bonus. Um, and whenever you activate one of these bonuses, uh, you indicate that it is active by circling the little indicator light here. And I'm gonna do that as crudely as possible, apparently. <laughs> um, and uh, okay, cool. So that completes that set and I am gonna clear off uh, the marks from that set. And now we can proceed. <laughs> wow, uh, crazy luck I'm getting here today. Uh, so I have a one and a one, which uh, would normally mean that I would have to go down to the flipper zone and fill in that one space on the left out lane and end the round but i really do not want to so i think in this case i will go ahead and use the last nudge that i have available for the game uh, which seems a little bit early in the middle of round two to be doing that but i mean i don't really have much choice here i want to want to keep going okay so i'm going to do it i'm turning one of the ones into a two and moving my pinball token to the yellow flipper my next roll is three and four, so I'm gonna move it over to this bumper and fill in one of the three spaces. And for that, I will score one point. Oh boy, the next roll is one and one. Uh, so I guess I'll just go over here to the yellow drop target on the left side, fill it in and score another point. And there is some good news here. Uh, since I have completed the yellow drop target set, I can unlock one of the new bonuses. I'm gonna fill in two extra feet of strength spaces and score two more points for those. And the next roll is four and four. Oof, uh, well, I have two choices. I can go to the red flipper or I can go to the yellow flipper. Uh, I think I'm gonna go to the yellow flipper so that I can uh, hopefully get access to that uh, skill shot area and buy some time. All right, let's try it. Oh, good news. The roll is two and five. The five allows me to go all the way back up to the Ferris wheel zone and I can fill in the last Ferris wheel car which will unlock a new skill shot. Um, looking ahead, I still really want to get to the top of that feat of strength, so I think I will choose the number four as my skill shot, and I will circle it very slowly and crudely again. Uh, okay, let's see what happens on the next roll. 
3 and 3 allows me to go to this bumper, and thankfully I have a bumper bonus active, so normally I would only get one point, but here I will actually get two points. The next roll is another double, <laughs> surprise surprise, uh, 6 and 6 allows me to go to the uh, lower bumper. I'm going to fill in that space and score two points for that as well. Pretty good. So I'm looking for a one or a two so I can keep on staying in the bumper zone. Hey, finally, luck's coming my way. Let's see here. Uh, let's go here. I'm filling in this space and getting two points for that. Burp, burp. Next roll is three and five. Uh, I can go backwards because of the bumper bonus. Oh goodness, okay, yes. Uh, I am gonna go backwards. I'm gonna hit that five and get two more points. Wow, this is nice, this is nice. Five and six, okay. That means uh, with a five or six, I can go to either of these drop target zones. So let's do this. Um, I'm gonna go here and put that there. And for that, I get a point. Very nice. Next roll is a two or a three. Ooh, okay, this, this might be my shot. Okay, I am gonna use that two to go into this in lane, fill in this space and get two points for that. It's just two smackaroos there. And this in lane will lead to the red flipper. From there, I am hoping to get a natural four. If I don't get a natural four, I can at least use the skill shot to get into the feet of strength zone. So please, let's get a four. Hey, I got a natural four, sweet. All right, okay. Now we're cooking. Let's go here and fill in this space. Get two points for that. Next roll is four and five. Let's try this. Uh, hmm. I think it's gonna be, well, hmm. I think the flipper pass on the yellow bonuses would be very handy if it weren't so close to the end of the round. Um, I think my one shot to keep this going as long as I can, to keep the round going as long as I can, is to, is to trigger the multi-ball on the red side. So I am going to fill in the four space on this and hope for the best. I don't think I have any other way to get this going. I have to get very lucky rolls to make this work, but Oh boy, uh, let's let's give it a shot. Actually, yeah. is there a way I can? Well, there might not be a way to get this going, but in any case, I get a point for that. Two and six. I think my luck is running out here. Uh, yep, 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 yep. Uh, yeah, okay, yeah, that's it. Okay, that's the end of the round, because the only options I have are to hit a two, which would mean I would just end the round because I can't fill in any space down here. Uh, or at least uh, I have this consolation prize. I can fill in this six, six on the out lane, and I get two points for every filled yellow box. Uh, that would be one, two, three. Uh, okay, so six points there. And with those points, I can now finish round two. I will fill in the round three space and move the pinball back up to the top of the board in the start area and start with a new roll. I'll let you continue playing from here on your own. To find out more about Super Skill Pinball and any of our other games, please visit shop.wizkids.com. Thanks!